I'm continuing to test the Canon EOS R5 this afternoon. So this is day two of my ownership, or day three, I think. And uh, I've finally managed to find some subjects. There are a set of weavers nesting about four meters away up in the trees there. And uh, it's quite late in the afternoon. The sun has gone down. It's pretty dim here. I'm shooting at ISO 10,000 at the moment, f8, and one four thousandth of a second to try and capture their wing beats and their movement. So I'm putting this camera through its paces, and I've been shooting thousands of shots this afternoon. I filled up one UHS-2 SD card, a 64 gigabyte card, in no time, and I've filled up probably half of a UHS-1 128 gigabyte card also in no time and the reason for that is I'm using the 20 frames per second electronic mode which I think is working really well with these weavers because they move so fast and I think there's no distortion in the birds because they're so small in the frame with the electronic mode and uh, the frames per second I can't fault it it's working really well and it's really working for me I think I've got pictures that I could never hope to capture with a DSLR never in a million years. I can't focus that fast. I'm not really relying on the focus. It's, uh, I'm focusing on the nest and then using depth of field to focus on these birds or to get the foot birds in focus as they approach and leave the nest. But that frames per second, that 20 frames per second is simply incredible but it does fill up your memory space pretty quickly. The end of the session I did get an overheat warning, a video overheat warning, not a stills overheat warning. I was able to continue shooting stills no problem. I was able to record 4K60 uh, after getting the overheat warning um, and I was able to record 4K24 without any warning. It switched into that mode without any problem whatsoever. So I've, sh I've shot a few thousand shots here before getting that overheat warning uh, and interestingly I was able to record 4K60 to a UHS-1 SD card an 80 megabytes per second card which you're not supposed to be able to do that seemed to work fine I was able to get a 30 second clip no problem to that card whether it would run out after it buffered a bit I don't know the other thing I was able to do was get a 49 shot raw buffer with a UHS-1 80 megabytes per second card so not even the fastest UHS-1 card out there um, so that was pretty impressive 49 shots more than enough for my purposes with these weavers up here. So I'm really very impressed with this camera at the moment. It's a fantastic wildlife stills camera. Uh, I don't think I could get a better camera for the money today anywhere. It's really been impressive. I've been using it with the Canon 100 to 400 uh, Mark II on an RF to EF adapter. So this is a non-native lens. It, it functions as well as you would expect on any other DSLR. I wouldn't notice any difference with it. It is absolutely incredible. I'm blown away and I just had to make this video to let you guys know how impressed I am with this camera as a wildlife stills camera so far. There's a few foibles I'm sure I'll explore and, uh, and find as I test it through the weeks ahead but uh, so far this camera is quite amazing and I do apologize I do apologize for my hairstyle we are still in lockdown here and uh, we've had it extended till the 15th of September now so I haven't been out the house really since March uh, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to get a chance to test this camera at some point soon maybe next week uh, locally but it's touch and go Anyway, I just wanted to update you. I'll post some pictures uh, with this video. Uh, I might make some downloads available as well, so you can download the files if you want uh, and just see what the quality like. ISO 10,000, simply amazing. Let's see what they look like on the screen though before I uh, crow too loudly about it. I'll see you out there.